flat rate electricity bills. Let's have a look. G'day, I'm Eddie Springer from Springer's Solar. We've started an initiative to look at electricity bills for Queensland electricity customers. We're gonna create a video series called the Bill Hunter series, where we're looking for the worst electricity bill in Southeast Queensland. We invite you to send us your bills to be analyzed for us to tell you where you can make savings and also what best solutions you have for reducing your energy consumption and reducing your electricity cost. As part of this series, we're gonna look at different types of electricity bills for residential and commercial customers. Flat rate electricity bills with off peak, flat rate electricity bills with demand charges, commercial flat rate bills, and also large scale commercial bills with all sorts of charges on them. These can be the most complex bills to understand and we will go through these in detail. Unsure what bill you have? Follow on for us to explain the different bills for you. Okay, the first bill we're going to look at is a flat rate electricity bill with off peak charges. Now flat rate or single rate electricity bill is a bill where we get charged for the electricity consumed at one rate. So a certain rate of cents per kilowatt hour for the entire bill. That rate does not change dependent on time of day, time of use, or for the demand you're using on the bill. There is a rate on the bill for the rate of electricity power, and there's also an off-peak rate for our hot water system. When installing a solar system, most of the time we are removing the off-peak tariff for the hot water and controlling that service with a smarter control for the hot water. Whether it be a simple timer for the hot water system or a more sophisticated control through the solar inverter via a meter where we tell that hot water system to turn on during the day as the sun starts shining. So let's delve into this bill now. So on the first page, we have a general description of the property and a dollars or amount due. We're not really concerned about the amount due because there's a lot of different factors that go into that, whether it's monthly, whether it's quarterly, and there may be subsidies and things involved. So let's not worry about that just yet we're going to look at the average daily usage. So this customer uses 28.26 kilowatt hours per day. They're up on their usage last year, and we can see the average daily usage in this area. So 28.26 kilowatt hours a day, not too bad for their overall usage. It's up there, but it's nowhere near as high as what we would see. All their payments for the last quarter. All right, let's get down into the detail of the bill. So on the left hand side, we can see the charge description and we can see the two charges, the general usage or the flat rate, and we can also see the controlled load usage. This bill is a quarterly bill because we can see the number of days and it's split across two sections. So we've got the first 13 days and then the next 79 days. The rates on this bill are the most important. That's what we wanna look at. That's what our electricity retailer is charging us for the energy we use. So for the first 13 days, our general usage, 21.67 cents per kilowatt hour, and our off-peak rate for our hot water, 16 cents per kilowatt hour. These rates are pretty good, but as we see down further, we've had a bill increase from 21 cents for their general usage up to 25 cents, and their off-peak usage from 16 up to 19 cents. So our charges for the last 80 days or 79 days of this bill, $324 for our general usage, but $181 in hot water service charges for off-peak. That's a really telling figure in that we can get a solar system to control hot water. We install a large enough solar system with a smart controller for our hot water, and we can remove that $181 altogether. The $324 here in our usage, we can offset that usage through the daylight hours. So our solar can offset as much of that electricity that we can move into daytime, and we can reduce that $324 charge. Add solar and a battery, and we can start to reduce those kilowatt hours even further. So all in all, this bill is not too bad for their rates, 25 cents per kilowatt hour is excellent. 
you know, we're seeing rates as high as 32, 35, and even 40 cents per kilowatt hour. And the off-peak, well, we're gonna remove the off-peak tariff when we install the solar system and put in some smarter control for that hot water. Overall, the bill, fairly high charges here, but it's something we can manage with a well-sized solar system and potentially in future or even now, a good battery coupled with that system to reduce those kilowatt hour charges overall. Thanks for your time. Great to have you part of this Bill Hunter series. Like I said before, send us your bill. We are on the hunt for the worst electricity bill in Queensland.